Hey everybody, it's James from the Comedy Panur Show, and today we're going to talk about why is stand-up comedy popular, right? That's a question I get a lot, right? Some people are like, well, stand-up comedy's dead, or there's a boom in stand-up comedy. But stand-up comedy's always been a popular genre, right? Since it, since it started, since it came around, since it started on the scene. And it started with vaudeville, and people did it on stage, so if you're thinking of uh, Laurel and Hardy... Or um, Bob Hope was a big vaudeville comedian for a long time. Those kind of people uh, did jokes. And jokes were that was considered a form of stand-up. And you had a lot of people that recycled jokes and told the same jokes. And it was just a common thing. But the really big boom in stand-up comedy was in the 1970s and 80s, right? And right now there seems to be another renaissance, right? Right before this, the, the COVID thing happened, there was a renaissance of stand-up comedy. We got uh, Netflix with putting out comedy specials and... Everybody, I mean, everybody's getting comedy specials. It seemed like a comedy special was dropping every single week on Netflix, right? And it's great. And the the thing is, comedians have a bigger platform than ever before, right? They have podcasts. They have they have more clubs than ever before. They can perform anywhere, right? And so, what makes comedy tickets sell out so much faster uh, than other forms? Maybe not than singers. Maybe not than a Taylor Swift or something. But it sells out a lot faster than some other events, right? It's because stand-up comedy is the art of bringing laughter and joy into our lives, right? It's, it's one of those things that it, it we need to laugh, right? We have a strong desire to laugh. Stand-up comedy is popular because comedians stand on the last true free platform, right? Stay The stage. The stage is the last true free place for you to speak, right? And comedians are more accessible and free today than ever, right? But people still pay to attend their shows, right? One of those things, um, I mean, you have to have... You had, like, Kevin Hart release a summer movie that made over $32 million, right? That was a stand-up, and it was released in movie theaters. And comedy, stand-up comedy is a community uh, form. When everybody's in the club together, they're in that hive mind. So you tell a joke, they laugh. Um, it's It relates to you. It pulls on you. It makes you think. It gives you a, a, a something to kind of hold on to. Everyone has their own favorite comedian, right? You have the Joe Rogan fans, who are very much into his style. You'll have um, Burt Kreisner fans who are very much into his style. And you have, you know, you have Louis C.K. or Chris Rock or whatever. Like, but they're like communities of, of people who are fans. So um, literally you have fans branding themselves, right? Like think of Chris Hardwick, right? He, he was the nerdist guy. Um, he did At Midnight, a bunch of stuff. He referred to his... Uh, fans as nerds, right? And he is a nerd himself, and he built that fan base around nerds. He wears uh, cartoon character costumes and uh, different shirts and stuff. I mean, he's just that guy. And so you find an identity with comedians, and that's what they are. They're I they're an identity icon for people. So if you can find your niche as a comedian, that's how you get fans, right? So if you talk about Dungeons and Dragons or pop culture or whatever, you could get a nerd base. If you talk about, you know, weed and whatever, you, you can get the Joe Rogan, you know, base that's kind of like into that. There's political comedians, people who like Louis uh, Black and people who like uh, Dennis Miller and those guys who are very political. Or you have like um, very um, Southern and kind of Christian-based people. So you're talking about like Larry the Cable Guy or... Jeff Foxworthy, right? Just that kind of stuff. You can build a fan base, and people absorb that identity of the comedian as part of who they are, and that's what makes it great because they find that common reality, that common ground uh, to be able to laugh and stuff. So it's it's a great thing to have because comedians are the funny representation of their fan base. They're often that um, figure that they want to be the things they want to say, but they don't get to say it because they're not a comedian, right? They're not on stage. So it's really interesting. Um, and I think people like Joe Rogan lead the charge for uh, saying what you want in comedy and being comedy being a place to express new ideas and new thoughts and stuff. So we all have our, our favorite comedians, you know, like um, I have tons of, of comedians. Actually, I love most comedians because all of them add something for me. You know, whether it's Jesselneck who's dark or Tosh who plays up a lot of weird tropes, uh, Joe Rogan who makes you think, uh, Brian Regan who's goofy, same thing with Gaffigan, uh, Jerry Seinfeld who's very smart and cerebral. Like, there's all these different comedians that, that do it. And in a world of mass media and social media influencers, comedians stand out as not wanting anything. They're not trying to sell you a physical thing. They're selling you an idea. They're selling you a 
uh, a platform. They're selling you a a something to buy into mentally. Like this is what you should think because it's funny, or isn't it funny how we think about this thing? And here's why it's funny, right? And they give you that. It's just it's refreshing. Um, and like I said, with things like Netflix. Amazon now doing stand-up, Drive Our Comedy doing stand-up. I mean, you have so many things. Comedy is such an opportunity this day because you can accept and learn so much from comedy. It's become a community um, outside of just comedians. People bonding with these comedians. They're waiting in line for hours. They're, 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 it's, it's almost like a sport, right? And stand-up comedy is this unique free speech platform in a world of um, speech that has to be a, done a certain way. You have to be aware of what you say, and comedy is not like that. Now, that doesn't mean that whatever comedians say, they're free from getting backlash on, but just know that it's one of those places where the ideas that you espouse on a stage in a form to make people laugh is just there to be funny, right? You, it's just one of those things. It's the fun house version of the world around us. We're making fun of the situations and the and the chaos that we all see in the news and that we all live every single day. So just think about that. Stand-up comedy is the break from the real world. It's the thing that we all need to to get to our joy, to find our love, to find our happiness. So find a comedian that really speaks to you. Find a comedian that touches your soul because that's what comedy is, right? It, it enters you. It makes you laugh. It makes you think. It And you think about the jokes and you laugh at them later and you tell them to your friends. And that's the best part of stand-up comedy, right? It's you, you are part of a community. You're part of a fan base for a person who is like you but has the platform to say the funny things you wish you could say. And that is why stand-up comedy is so popular. Hope you guys enjoy the Comedy Panure show here. Please like and subscribe. Please follow the channel. Check out the Comedy Queen Comedy Podcast, which is also here. Uh, we do all those every week. There's new episodes dropping every Tuesday. That's for the Queen Comedy Podcast and every Thursday for the Comedy Panora Show. Have a great week and I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>